Oh, she lands another strike. Oh! Huge right hand! This could be it! Big shot to the head. She's hurt. She is stunned. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Some real power shots here. Oh, very nice. Roundhouse kick KO for the victory. Wow, Joe, all I can say is wow, she might have even exceeded her own expectations here tonight. You know the kicks have been a big part of her arsenal. Art. Ready? Round one. While she spent the bulk of her career in strawweight contention, here is Poland's Karolina Kovalkiewicz, a pro dating to 2012. Good submission skills, not much in terms of knockout power, but a very, very good striker, and that big oh. one. This could be it right here. She got her head snapped back with that jab, Joe, and she continues to show a vulnerability here by almost leaning right into her opponent's range. Let's see if she can move that upper body and get her head off the center line. Front kick to the face. Very nice timing with these shots here. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Nice jab. Lands the kick to the body there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Very nice kicks. And she's using the jab effectively here. Good defense there. Look at that. Nice. She oh! Big right huge hand. right hand! This could be it! Oh! Big shots! Vicious combo there! Just misses with that Whoa! big right hand. Whoa! That is incredible! Do you believe it? Karolina Kovalkiewicz! Beautiful knockout blow to finish the fight here. Yeah, that's a big win, Joe, and if you're trying to send a message to the rest of this division, that now to Bruce Buffer for the... So here's the Polish strawweight contender, Karolina Kovalkiewicz, at one point worked her way into a title fight against her fellow. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Jan Jacek is 30, Kovalkiewicz is 32. Jan Jacek is three inches taller, the reach is the same. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is... And here we go. So here is the former UFC strawweight champion, Ioana Yeo Jacek. She has broken a lot of fighters with her work rate, with her pace. There is no denying the output. Seemingly doesn't get tired. We'll see how Ioana Yeo Jacek starts this challenge tonight. So both girls landing right out of the chute. Spinning back fist. All right, first round is underway. Let's see how long it takes her to find her range with those vaunted, powerful overhand punches. Obviously, it's a big part of her repertoire, and more often than not in the UFC, even when opponents have known it has been coming, they have been unable to stop it. Getting the hands going here early. That shot blocked by Ioana Jacek. Nice punch by Kovalkiewicz. She is off to an excellent start here tonight. She's using her jab effectively here, Joe. Wow! Kovalkiewicz gets caught with that punch. Oh, nice job staying busy. The offensive onslaught continues. 
Trying to establish that jab once again. There was a nice exchange. Beautiful jab. Jabs off the left and jabs off the right. Try for a head kick here. Oh, Kovalkiewicz's lower jaw could not look much worse, Joe. Extremely swollen at this point in time. We'll keep an eye on it as this fight moves forward. Effective use of the jab by her there. That one hurt. Oh, how good is her jab, Joe? Excellent job of timing these combinations. You know, Jacek gets hit by that leg kick. Splits the guard and connects there. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Carolina Kovalkiewicz. Man, she's landing at a good clip here. Punches in bunches. There's a left hand. Joe, but the overhand right not there that time. One, two. She blocked the punch. And another stiff jab. Really good use of the jab oh. by her here oh. This could be it right here. Woo! Woo! Look at that jab. Oh, oh that's a huge oh. And just like that, the fight is over. Tremendous hook, landed flush for the victory. Yeah, Joe, that'll get the crowd on its feet. A near-perfect land to end the fight for her here tonight. Just the way she drew it up, she had her focus on the knockout, and that's exactly the way this fight ends. I'm not even sure the opponents saw the shot coming. They oftentimes say it's the shot you don't see coming that spells your fate, and that certainly spelled her fate here tonight. Great angle here. Bang. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer. So Karolina Kovalkiewicz initially started training at 16 to protect herself. She has become one of the best strikers in this UFC strawweight division. Still has visions of getting back to a title fight against Joanna Jacek. Tonight, if she can get the win, that would be a huge step in that direction. Effective jab there by Karolina Kovalkiewicz. Our right, first round is underway, and you better watch out for the overhand punches when you're fighting an opponent of this caliber. It really has become a patented punch of hers, and something that a lot of opponents know is coming, but still can't account for. Let's see how long it takes her to find her range here tonight. Young Jacek's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Try to establish that jab. The spinning back fist lands. Staying busy now. A lot of these punches are landing. Got to play better defense than that. Oh, she blocks the punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Just over three minutes to go, round one. 
Well, there's the head kick in it lands. She has shown a vulnerability to it by leaning in, and that time it looked as if she almost moved right into her opponent's kicking range. Certainly something that bears watching here moving forward in this fight. Oh, one, two. Good defense there. Kovalkiewicz gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. And another one gets to the head. She is off to an excellent start here tonight. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Oh, that was a hard one. Now they're both throwing with power. Nasty combinations here. Oh, establishing that jab yet again. It's been in her opponent's face all night. Misses a huge hook to the head. Another shot lands upstairs. Oh, huge block for her, Joe. Nice left, left kick to the body. Kovalkiewicz gets caught with that punch. Well, she has really found her timing in this round, Joe. She blocked the punch. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Left hand. Left hand again. Oh! Kick to the face! This could be it! What a wild exchange! It's a good combination. No! Ten seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. by the bell there. There's the horn, end of the round. And thankfully, she will live to see another round. So back to the stool. She only has 60 seconds here to recover. We'll see if her corner physically and mentally can keep her in this fight. What a seminal moment there at the end of the round. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. And let's see if we can get a better look at it from a different angle. Beautiful accuracy on the right hand. 